Hello again, everyone. I am here for a Chic Sparrow unboxing. This is the holiday leather from, from Chic Sparrow, uh, but I'm gonna kind of give you my first impressions because I have not seen it yet. This is the notebook that I referenced in one of my Inkvent calendar videos that I was gonna be showing this after uh, Christmas. So let me go ahead and get in here. My understanding is that this leather is extremely limited, so I don't know if it will still be available at the time that you see this video. Sorry, I'm getting all the packaging set aside here. But if it is, <laughs> you'll be able to, uh, to grab it. I'll put a link to Chic Sparrow below. I am a Chic Sparrow ambassador, so you can get 10% off by either following my link or using my code that I've listed below. All right, so here is the product warranty card. And I am still kind of struggling with what to do with these because I, I have never needed to use the warranty. <laughs> um, and I'm wondering, is it, you know, is it worth it to go ahead and keep these cards? Because I haven't been keeping a lot of the cards. Um, but anyway, to be to be continued, to be determined. All right, and this is in my uh, standard size. Not it's not the standard size. It is my normal size B6 slim. And it's a little set, so it did come with a notebook and a couple of accessories. I'm gonna go ahead and get in here. Oh my goodness. It is not even showing off as deep red as it is in person. This is definitely, I'm so glad I got this because this is definitely right up my alley as far as color. Uh, it does, it does have a little bit of sheen to it. It, uh, for those of you who remember way back when, Pemberley, uh, I actually came to Chic Sparrow a little bit, like when Pemberley was on its way out. So um, a lot of you may not be familiar with it because it, it was a while ago. <laughs> it, it does have a little bit of pebbling kind of like the Pemberley, but it has a completely different texture. I actually did not like the Pemberley. It was my, one of my least favorite leathers, so I wasn't too sad when it went away. I think I still have one somewhere, but for the most part, I kind of passed on it. Oh, and it looks like I have some paint on my hand. Sorry about that. Um, I love how the brown elastic looks with this color again it's it's definitely much brighter on the camera think think of sort of like a deep cranberry red like really deep and that's that's what this is but yeah this feels much more slick and it is quite a bit more shiny than the Pemberley was um I'm kind of actually kind of surprised at how shiny that is so here's the front and back this, as far as I know, this is a veggie tan leather, which means it will change color when exposed to sunlight. If this got even darker, I would not be unhappy. Really, the darker, the better with my reds. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Oh, pretty. So it's pretty consistent in its tone because sometimes with the pockets, you can tell the different kinds of variations that you'll get with a leather because they use smaller pieces from different hides, I'm assuming but this is all pretty consistent. Uh, I think I probably do wish that this was slightly less glossy, but the color is amazing. I think I'm probably, because I'm filming this before Christmas, um, but you're gonna be seeing this after Christmas, and I think this is going to be perfect for Christmas season notebook. It's, it's really, really pretty. And this is, like I said, the size that I use the most for my regular everyday setup. All right, so that is the Traveler's Notebook. And then, oh, free gift. Oh, oh, so this isn't even, oh, I did not realize. I thought I had seen something about a free gift at some point in time. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hold off on opening that and then I'm gonna, <laughs> oh, that was unexpected, a pleasant surprise. So it does come with this pen holder. It is not the pen closure, which, uh, I prefer the pen closure to the pen holder because this, sometimes I just don't know what to do with this. I mean, I know you could, you know, put it in the elastic like that and that would probably keep pretty well. 
Um, actually, keep very well. And this would actually be pretty good for a folio without a pen holder here or a, yeah, pen loop. That's the word I was looking for. Um, but yeah, but, but I still do like them and I do use them. As you can see, the inside, you can see that in both. The inside is sort of a natural leather color. Ooh, and that's really, really soft on the inside, actually. Um, yeah, super soft. And as you can see, again, fairly consistent in color. Little piece, bits of paper everywhere. I don't know what how that happened. Uh, let's see. I guess you could also put your pen loop in there, but I don't know. That seems a little precarious. You might be able to put it in that pocket. Yeah, that might actually work. It might create some weird bumps when you close your notebook though. All right, and then the other thing it came with in the set is this key holder or this key fob. I do have a couple of these, but I haven't been using them because I have been, um, I have been latching my keys to the inside of uh, one of the bags I use. Uh, the current bag that I am using is a Tom Bin bag and Tom Bin has all kinds of little loops that you can attach things to and that's what I've been doing with my keys. It's really convenient because it's on a strap so that when I unlock the door it's still attached to my bag then I know I'm not going to lose them or misplace them with my bag. But these are actually quite nice. What I've also done with these and I don't think Chic Sparrow makes their little um, dainty wallets anymore but you could also you know, attach this to your wallet. You could attach it to anything that can go on a, on one of these little key rings. So it is really nice. It has the logo here. I think that's a fairly new thing. I don't think the other ones I have have the logo here, but super pretty. It's a really, really pretty leather. You know, anytime you have a dark red leather You've, you've kind of spoken to me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put those in there and I'm actually gonna put this guy back to bed as well in this one. And then after that, I will open up, did that go this way? No, I think it went this way. And then I'm gonna open up this little free gift, which I'm super excited about. I didn't even realize that that would happen. I'm gonna take the little free gift sticker off and oh, so it's a pen holder. And I think this is the tea house leather. Um, I forget what the yellow color was, but this definitely looks like tea house. I'm guessing they had some remnants left over to make some extra little pieces. I really like this particular leather. I do have a narrow size or standard size, true standard size <laughs> notebook in this color. So I might, I might be able to pair this with that so that it's kind of like a, a matched set, but um, nice. Yeah, but again, it's not the closure, which I, I prefer the closure, but like I said, the pen, this pen, um, pen holder, single pen holder is, is pretty decent as well. And anytime you have a, like a little pocket that will fit it, it'd probably be pretty nice. Or you can, like I said, put it in the elastics. Well, that was a nice little bonus, but that is all I had for you today and everything's back back in its little cozy here. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to keep track of future videos. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.